the snow and he broke it. So he went ahead and searched for a, maybe a more reliable plow and um, found one. So we're on the road heading to go pick that up today. So come along. Okay, so here is the old wood plow that I made last year. It um, had the big crack in it. it. Had the big crack in it. And as it dried out, the crack just got bigger and bigger. I tried to put some leg bolts in it to make it last through this winter season for plowing. Obviously it did not. It ended up the crack kind of got uh, went up on the bottom of it and then eventually broke off my pocket for one of my forks to go in and so it is no longer functional it is now in the wood pile so it is not wasted it'll get cut up and we will burn it in our stove Okay, so we got the plow back home. I've ordered the quick attach plate from Amazon. It's about well, it's under $200. Um, I'm hoping it'll arrive today. It's supposed to arrive today and we're supposed to get snow tomorrow morning. So um, I'm going to try and attempt to weld this myself with the welder I have and we'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work, then I'll have to take it somewhere. You know, I'll grind it off and, and um, take it and have someone weld it professionally or see if I can find someone else that has a powerful enough welder. But so what I've done is I've cut off cut off these two points here that would have allowed it to attach to a truck a snow plow truck and now I can just weld the plate on just flat right here and then my quick attach on my loader will fit right on so we're waiting for that to show up um, we're all ready for it now when it comes and I can crank her up all the way I'm gonna use a generator because the generator puts out a little bit more power than my solar powerhouse up there um, and give it all I've got so we'll get to that next Okay, so the quick tack plate just showed up from Amazon. UPS delivered it. So we're going to take a look here. I ordered it at a half inch thickness, so there'll be no issues with it ever. I'm going to take it back and we're going to start welding it on. heavy. I think it's like 150 pounds. I mean it looks right. I have no reason to think that it won't fit.
Okay, I thought before I weld anything to the plate, I better stop and make sure that it fits. And it is attached. The pins are in, so it fits. It's actually a little bit larger than all my other quick attack plates on my other implements, the bucket and the forks. But that's okay, it still connects and it still locks. So we will go ahead and move it over here, set it in place on the plow, and attempt to weld it on using the generator as power. So here we go. Right. I'm gonna go grab a tape measure.
Okay, so it's right around zero degrees outside right now. I was able to get the tractor started. The other day when I got the plow welded together, it was getting dark out at night. So I wasn't able to video um, plowing the driveway that night um, to see if it worked. And then I did plow the driveway again the next morning because it's been drifting. But I had to go to work, so I had to plow while it was still dark then too. So this is now the next day, and it was drifting all day yesterday. And so it's now gonna be light enough out to go ahead and um, show the plow actually working. Um, and I'm thinking about cutting the sides off, the wings, because it's over, it's almost a 10 foot plow with the wings and it's a little bit big for this tractor, but let, let's go try it together and we'll, we'll go from there. So I'll, I'll walk over there and show you what it looks like on the plow. I'm not really gonna focus on the, the welds very much because I know I'm a terrible welder, but so far it's holding. So let's go take a look. in here right now got a pin to hold the angle you just lift it up so we could if I pulled that pin I guess let's just show It does have cylinders, but they're not functional right now. So I can pivot manually still. Well, that's an awfully big blade. Here, let's turn it straight so you can see. I'll turn it straight so you can see exactly how wide it is compared to the tractor. It would make a great skid steer snow pusher. You know, if you had like a big parking lot that you wanted to clear. I mean, that is a really wide plow. But let's go give it a shot.
Okay, so there you have it. That's how the plow is working for me. I think it works pretty good. I'm a little bit worried about how heavy it is for the front of my loader. I just don't know how much weight I would actually take off if I cut it shorter. I know it does help to have it longer so I don't have to go up and down the driveway as much. Um, I'm also a little bit worried about um, if I did get a deeper snow, if I'd still be able to push it off to the side. But I'm going to go to a friend's house now and um, try and hump them plow it just a little bit. And we'll see how it works there. If it's advantageous, I think I'll just leave the wings on. And maybe when it comes around to the snows too deep sometime that I can't push it, then I'll chop off the sides and see if that helps. So let's go do that. Okay, so I just wanted to give an update on the plow. I did take it to my friend's house and I did plow his driveway and his parking area and had no issues with it, it worked great. Brought it back here and a couple days later I was plowing out the rows of my driveway and trying to push them out farther so that I could have more room for the next time it snows. Trying to push the, the rows out just a little bit and I accidentally drove into the ditch with the tractor and got stuck and trying to get out of the ditch with the plow on my welds broke. So since then I have taken the weld or taken the plow somewhere to have it welded on by someone else with a better welder. And I will show you that really quick. Okay, so now we have a little bit better welds on there than I had. And I'm hoping it will hold. I'm sure it will. And so the plow is working great. So for now, that's that.